Hello to all you Cancerians, hello and welcome. Welcome to this monthly horoscope for May uh, 2013. But first of all, some clients uh, asked me how to pronounce my name. Well, it is Virle. So the French, they call me Virle. And the Americans or Australians or from the UK, they call me Verle, but it is Verle. It is. I know it's a bit difficult to pronounce, but it's a typical Flemish name. It's very common here. But let's get back to something really more important, which is your uh, horoscope, your general horoscope for the month of May. It's very interesting because there are two eclipses, and as you probably know, eclipses are important for you. Cancerians because it considers your ruling planet, which is the moon. So, um, there are happening two eclipses. There's also happening something with Caput Algo, which I'm going to talk about in a minute, and the Pluto Uranus square. These are the most, there's other stuff going on, but that would take too long. So, it's the most important stuff that is going on. First of all, at the 10th of May, there's the solar eclipse, so there's going to be a build-up the first 10 days of uh, the month um, towards the solar eclipse at 19 degrees of Taurus. So, uh, it's the Sun and the Moon together at 19 degrees, but also two other planets are very close to that solar eclipse, which is not only the nodes, but which is also Mars and Mercury. So um, you could say that this is, a, in fact, a stellum going on. So uh, an overdoses of focus on a particular area of your life. And for you Cancerians, especially with a Cancerian rising sign, it is your 11th house. And that is one of my favorite houses, the 11th house. It's the house, not only the house of friends, but the house of our long-term wishes. So, with a new moon, it means a new beginning and to have this new opportunity to think slowly, because Taurus is a slow sign, to consider on a very slow level your new aspiration. So, don't go too fast on that. Maybe you are going to meet a new friend that is going to have a significant um, influence in your life. Um, but for most people, it will be new uh, long-term aspirations that are coming in and, um, and that is really nice. That is really interesting for you Cancerians as well. It's, uh, I think, a lot of social activity that uh, could be the case around that date. Now after that, there is uh, the Pluto Uranus square at the 21st of May that is going to be exact. Now the Pluto Uranus square is about transformation, it's about where we need to uh, become more true and it's about liberation. Now for you Cancerians, it's pretty important because it's in the seventh house, Pluto is in the um, seventh house of relationships. So it is a key area. Um, of your life and then Uranus is at um, in your 10th house which is work so for a lot of Cancerians it's either the, un the one or the other or it's both that um, is happening but I don't really believe in the fact that when a square is exact something happens I don't believe that I think and especially Cancerians because they are very sensitive they will sense this already a long time, months ago, or e even a year ago. And especially you Cancerians who have the uh, planets or an ascendant around 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 degrees of Cancer. I think the most, in, in my opinion, the most Cancerians already sense this square way earlier. So um, I don't think something new is going to come up. But um, it's on the background, you know, this transformational um, energy that is going on for you with Pluto, considering your relationships one-to-one -one, or maybe clients that will be quite powerful and you, you learn something about your own power. 
um, or work, you know, you want to liberate yourself when it considers work. I see a lot of concerns, especially those who have a rising sign of cancer, who shift jobs very quickly. All of a sudden, you know, when they have that Uranus midheaven, uh, when they have that, uh, sorry, I mean, Aries midheaven around those, those degrees, 10, 11, 12 degrees, I see a lot of shifts in work. And that is good. It's, it's there to liberate you. But it's new and not always comfortable. And um, so that is that. And another thing that is going on will be around the 25th of the month, which is a lunar eclipse, so a, um, a full moon. The, the moon will be in Sagittarius and the sun will be in Gemini. So that's highlighting your sixth and twelfth house. It's squaring up to Neptune. So it can be a bit misty when it considers your thinking processes, your higher thinking. But so to see the bigger picture, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. I think it has to do with some culmination um, when it considers all work or whether it considers your health or maybe something that um, points you to the fact I have to change that. You know, I have to maybe um, do some exercises, maybe stop smoking, you know, things like that. Because the sun is in the 12th house, the house of your blind spots. And whenever the sun goes in there, it's a time of introspection and of reflection. And those are always interesting times because next month the sun is going to be in your sign and cancer, which is about more an opening up. So now it's about the time before the opening up and the time of making things a bit more clean, uh, things that are, you know, um, coming up that you didn't know that they were there or still working there, like old patterns, for instance. So it's, it's a huge, interesting month for all of us and especially for Concerians but, but because the moon is involved here in those eclipses. Another thing that is important is Caput Algol. Um, the word, I think the word alcohol is derived from Caput Algol and uh, it means it's a fixed star at 25, 26 degrees of Taurus and it has to do with losing one's mind. So um, for you it has to do uh, with the area of your life that considers that 11th house. So the only it's 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 not it's not a heavy house the eleventh house. So for you, it's just the advice of not going too far in those aspirations. So not losing your mind when you have those new aspirations, or lose yourself totally um, when it considers a friend. Uh, but I think that won't be that much of um, a difficulty for you. Also around twenty fifth could be a tricky day because uh, when that lunar eclipse happens also Mars is bang on that Caput Algo. So mind your actions uh, when it considers that 11th house stuff. So all in all, I think for Cancerians, uh, a month of really going forward, hopefully uh, you can tap into that. I wish you all the best and see you uh, next month. Bye bye.